color side, blue, black. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> you get lighter and lighter and lighter as you go from that. Read. Verse 5. It's like verse 4. And the most I will much ever saw, most I will much ever saw, saw the light that it was good. And the most I will much ever saw divided the light from the darkness. Right, because in the Hebrew it says, in the beginning, now the high end of the powers created the heaven and the earth, which is the most high of Masha Yahweh Shah. In the most high, while Masha Yahweh Shah saw the light, that it was good. The most high divided the light from the darkness. Verse 5 is key. And the most high, while Masha Yahweh Shah called the light day, in the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. Day. So the evening and the morning were the first day. So that's one day. That's a thousand years. Right. From darkness to light. See? So as you look, and then he, he created everything else. Firmament. Verse 8. Verse mm -hmm. 8. Oh, sorry. And the most high one must go aside called the firmament heaven. And the evening and the morning were the second day. Right, so he's giving us clear indication of how we count our days from the evening to the morning. Evening is like the, the day starts the Sabbath. When it got dark, it started the Sabbath to tomorrow evening. The Sabbath ends. So that's how he counted from evening to even Esau go at 12 o'clock. He just took away, you know, four hours or so mm -hmm. before he starts his day. His day starts at 12 o'clock. I start when the sun went out, which is four hours before. You see? So the evening and the morning was the day. So the most high, each time you see evening and morning, so one first day, evening and morning, the second day, even the morning, the third day, these are a thousand year periods that he's creating the world. Mm -hmm. So, when you look at, um, is the uh, this this go to because if you read verse 31 of uh Genesis the first chapter Genesis chapter 1 verse 31 and the most side of my side saw everything that he had made and behold it was very good and the evening and the morning were the sixth day so he made everything in six thousand years so now, this is two and one. Genesis chapter two, verse one. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. So we finished the heavens and the earth, and all the stars, the moon, and the uh, galaxies, and so forth, sun, read. And on the seventh day, the Most High of Mashiach ended his work, which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he had made. So he rested on the seventh day from all the work that he had done. That was the day of his rest. We? And the Most High of Mashiach blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in it he had rested for all, from all his work, which the most I want my shall I create it and made. So that's in the beginning. So now you're seeing what he's giving us these laws that we're going over as far as the land. So we're supposed to rest. We're supposed to honor the Sabbath day. Get Deuteronomy uh, 15. 
and 19. So even the land's supposed to be left alone under uh, seven years. And if we do this, he would make it the fruit increase so that we wouldn't have to plant anything. Deuteronomy 15 and 19. Deuteronomy chapter 15, verse 19. All the firstlings, all the firstling males that come of thy herd and of thy flock, thou shalt sanctify unto the most high thy power. Thou shalt do no sorry. Thou shalt sanctify unto the most high thy power. Thou shalt do no work with the firstling of thy bullock, nor shear the firstling of thy sheep. Right. So he's telling us how to deal with the first the firstling male, the firstborn male that come of thy herd mm -hmm. and of thy flock. Will be sanctified unto the most high thy power. Thou shalt do no work with the firstling of thy bullock nor shear the person of thy sheep. You know, those, those, the bullocks, you know, you can use them for work. First, nor shear the person of the sheep. Go ahead. Thou shalt eat it before the most high thy power, year by year, in the place which the most high shall choose. Thou and thy household. Right. This is what you give it us. As far as dealing with uh, what we need for killing, uh, look at uh, Deuteronomy 12 and 13. Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 13. Take heed to thyself that thou offer not thy burnt offerings in every place that thou seest. Get, uh, go to verse 5 first. Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 5. But unto the place which the Mosiah your power shall choose out of all your tribes to put his name there, even unto his habitation shall ye seek, and thither thou shalt come. Right, the Mosiah. Letting us know what we're going to do and where we got to go for our holy convocation and our offerings to him, right? And thither ye shall bring your burnt offerings and your sacrifices and your tithes and heave offerings of your hand and your vows and your free will offerings and the firstlings of your herds and of your flocks. That's why he was telling us about how we're supposed to treat the firstlings of the flock. Go ahead. And there ye shall eat before the most high your power, and ye shall rejoice in all that ye put your hand unto, ye and your households, wherein the most high thy power hath blessed thee. Right. So we're going to eat that first link. Go back to uh, Deuteronomy 15, verse uh, 20. Deuteronomy chapter 15, verse 20. You know, when you, when you go over this back and forth, you see the most high repeat himself to us a lot. Whereas some people say, I heard that already. Get uh, Job 33 and 14. But he just said it in Leviticus. Come back to Deuteronomy, saying it again. Repeating it to us. Job chapter 33, verse 15. What? Job chapter 33, verse 14. For the most high speaketh once, once, yet twice, yet man proceedeth not. There it is. <laughs> he said once, said twice, yet man proceedeth not. But people say, I heard that before. Then you come back and ask him, well, what is the answer? And they can't give you the answer even though he heard it a few times. Most I say he speak once and twice, and man perceived it not. Go back to Deuteronomy 15, verse 21. Deuteronomy chapter 15, verse 21. 
And if there be any blemish therein, as if it be lame or blind or have an ill blemish, thou shalt not sacrifice it unto the Most High thy power. The son said, when we bring no <laughs> lame, no blind, no blemish, firstly flock to him to sacrifice to him. He wanted to be right. That's why Mashiach Shai had to be without sin. He had to have, he had to be without blemish. Yes. Now Esau, with their animals, the, the sick, dead, they still process it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It'd be they, ill, got all kinds of diseases. They, just, they cut it, it off. It it cut it off. Keep going. <laughs> right? That's what they do. <laughs> Straight up. I mean, we, we subject to all kinds of madness. Especially <laughs> chicken wings. You see the wings like, what the hell is that wing? You know the wing. All kinds of stuff. Hey. Read that again. Moses said, no blemish there is. <laughs> Read that again. Deuteronomy chapter 15, verse 21. And if there be any blemish therein, as if, as if it be lame or blind or have an ill blemish. An ill blemish. <laughs> he said, <laughs> ill blemish. <laughs> just a little bit of something wrong with it. Like you said, the wing is bent. Yeah, yeah. It didn't, didn't grow right or whatever. It's got, it's got a, some kind of red, it's like, it, like a disease. <laughs> Don't bring it. Don't bring it to the most high. Don't, <laughs> say, don't bring it in. Don't sacrifice that to the most high. Please. Thou shalt not sacrifice it unto the most high thy power. Go ahead. Thou shalt eat it within thy gates. The unclean and the clean person shall eat it alike. Read that again. Thou shalt eat it within thy gates. We're supposed to eat it within our gates. Go ahead. The unclean and the clean person shall eat it alike. As a robot and as the heart. As a robot and as the heart. Go ahead. Only thou shalt not eat the blood thereof. Thou shalt pour it upon the ground as water. Right. See, we're not supposed to eat blood. Supposed to cook our meat all the way through. You, know, you, ever, you ever had chicken that you it would cook right, bite it too, you see that blood? Uh. You know, Esau. Love Esau, that like his, just get all on the grill and <laughs> That's it, give it hell. <laughs> see me that grill is what it say? Man. Only thou shalt not eat the blood thereof, thou no. shalt pour it upon the ground as water. You gotta get rid of the blood. What's he eating? Blood. Some people like their steaks like Esau. Are you Esau? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they like their steaks like Esau. A question. Yeah. That would be like for age too, right? Because even though it's, it's not like when people think of blood, they think red. Just like, um, uh, you know. Seen as this blood, it's just not red, but it's, it has the elements in it. So eggs, when they sunny side up, it's still like eating the blood, not uncooked. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> That's a unborn chicken. Right. Cut. I do some research on that. One. Yeah, I heard. I read that. Well, I'm trying to find it where it says don't eat, don't eat the uh, like the young youngling or something like that. You know, well, you, you can't eat chicken with nuggets. You don't eat those, do you? Chicken nuggets? McNuggets. Yeah, McNuggets. Chicken McNuggets? He loves it. I don't eat them anymore. Anymore. <laughs> oh, you know about them now? Oh, what, little what? chickens, they just... Yeah, they, they, they just roll around a little... Grinder. Grinder. They grind throw little chickens in there, the whole thing goes in there. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Uh, oh, really? It's just like, like they have cattle, horse, goat. This little thing is just it just grinds it up the whole oh, yeah, thing. Yeah. The whole thing. Right, that's yeah. They don't they don't uh, gut it out or anything, it's just going in live. It's like it's like a hot dog. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Come out liquid. <laughs> I mean it's everything, even the intestines, whatever's in there, everything. everything. <laughs> 
You know what I mean? It's a bomb. But man, we just, man. Deuteronomy 22. And nine. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse nine. This really gonna bring something home. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse nine. Thou shalt not sow thy vineyard with diverse seeds. We should not sow, plant our vineyard with different seeds. Read. Mm -hmm. Lest the fruit of thy seed which thou hast sown and the fruit of thy vineyard be defiled. So, what about a nectarine? Mm -hmm. I'm looking here, it says, Thou shalt not sow thy vineyard right. with diverse seeds. You got, they, done, they done went to the lab, grapes don't have any seeds. Why do they don't have any seeds? But it's so nothing gonna have seeds. Whatever seeds you're gonna get, you gotta get from Monsanto's. <laughs> you can't grow anything. And then if you grow anything, like they said, it's against the law to grow uh, a garden in your yard. A what? A garden in your front yard or oh, in your yard. They want to stop that. Verse 10. Thou shalt not plow with an ox and an ass together. You can't plow with an ox and an ass together. Gotta have two oxen and two asses. Deuteronomy 24 and 19. Deuteronomy 24? Yeah, Deuteronomy 24 and 19. Deuteronomy chapter 24, verse 19. When thou cuttest down thine harvest in thy field, and hast forgot a sheaf in the field, thou shalt not go again to fetch it. It shall be for the stranger, for the fatherless, and for the widow, that the most high thy power may bless thee in all thy all the work of thine hands. See that? Say so when you go to cut down your vineyard or your harvest in the field, mm -hmm. and your crops. Thou shalt not go again. Once you go through, we went through, got whatever we're gonna get, go through them rows, whatever we have, whatever's left. You can't go back a second time. You can't go back a second time. That's what he's saying. That's for the stranger. That's what the sheep is? No, no, no. That's for the crops. The sheep? Mm -hmm. The sheep? Yeah. Whenever you yeah, whenever you 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 harvest it. So it'll be for the stranger, for the fatherless, and for the widow, that the Most High can bless us for allowing, you know, that's love, showing love to our people. That they can come through there, you know, you, you're walking on a journey, mm -hmm. right, right. oh, it's, it's harvest time, you know, you go over there, you see that they already, you know, you can tell that they already harvested, yeah. you go over there and help yourself to get something to eat. Here they got five fire cats and what kind? Of shotguns <laughs> and automatic guns. Electric, electric fences. Electric fences. <laughs> <laughs> all kind of things. <laughs> you know, get anything that they have, whatever they have, they already got everything. I mean, they ran up for it to rot. And they pay farmers to just let it, let it rot so nobody can get anything. Yeah. You know, back in the day, like in the 70s, you used to go down the grapevine and the grapes are there. You can just stop, pull over, and get get your grapes. You know. Oh, yeah. yeah, vineyard. But now there's no vineyard. <laughs> they are there. You know. So you go out there and try and get some grapes. Now you might get shot. Yeah. yeah. Huh. I have a question. Yeah. I don't know if you got into it, but um, there's scripture about mixing the this the, uh, diverse cattle. Mm -hmm. uh, where are you gonna mention that? Because I don't know where it is. But it's talking about mixing the cattle. With that verse count too. Right, I know. Oh. You're not supposed to be doing that. Yeah. But now everything's domesticated, which is the dog or the wolf. Mixing the dog, that's that's where you get the dog and the wolf. And the cat and all those domesticated animals. The cow. They mixed a horse with a dog. Right. Mm -hmm. Get that mule. And get short. Yeah. That's why horse people know, they look at the snout, they know it's because it's short and that long. Yeah. Yeah. 